Hello everybody, Sir Monk Sued back again. We are with episode 12 of Attack on Titan. Uh, we left off last episode with Eren's Titan like, seemingly obliterating Mikasa. Turned around and punched her. Um, I seem to believe that because the Titan works on instinct, um, you know, uh, like beforehand, uh, Mikasa was, you know, proven... Aaron basically saying, oh, I'm coming with you, I need to protect you, things like that. And I know that kind of stuff gets to Aaron, so I'm wondering if that kind of, if that's, like, running through into, like, Aaron's Titan. Um, you know, if that's, like, being the instinct thing. Uh, so, you know, he decided to punch uh, Mikasa instead because of that. Because basically, you know, Mikasa's getting known by because like, Eren doesn't want to think that he's weak that's the one thing that he hates the idea of is is, is him or humanity being weak you know what I mean and because of the way Mikasa treats him like you know what I mean needs to be protected all the time uh, you'll not survive without me and while you know while all of that is like is true like Eren would not survive without Mikasa because you know Eren is is too um He's, he's too emotional, you know, he's too emotionally involved. So he's, he's bound to make some mistakes. Um, he's not going to be, like, um, thinking logically all the time, you know what I mean? And Mikasa can be there to, to make sure that when he does do those things, she can be, you know what I mean, she, she's able to, you know, with her skills, she's able to, uh, to kind of counteract that. So she is right in what she's saying, um, you know what I mean? But by, you know, by... By Mikasa telling him that over and over again, you know what I mean? It's just making him more and more annoyed. So I imagine that's what it must have been. It must have been just translated to the Titan that, um, that you know what I mean, he's a bit pissed off with Mikasa and therefore the Titan, you know, ergo, punched up Mikasa. I don't think she's dead. That will be a shit way for her to go. Um, you know what I mean? She's uh, She's skillful enough to the point where she can easily dodge that, I'd say. Um, but we need to fucking find out. We need to find out what the fuck's going to happen here because this could all just turn on a fucking one eighty now. Because I thought, oh, here we go. We're going to get them teaming up together. You know what I mean? Aaron's going to fucking do the job, and now we're going to have a Titan on the team. But it looks like it's not going to be that easy. Uh, so yeah. Without further ado, let's get it. Episode twelve. Wound. What if I trust eight? Sales plays out. <clears throat> なんとか。シェ、ファクトのワンオブ。町の隅に集める Christ! Come on, Aaron, get control! <笑>あ、すごい。戦士っぱいだ。分かってたよ。秘密兵器なんて存在しないってこと。あ、ねねねねねねね。<笑> Damn it, they fucking oh no, they fired the fucking flare off, man. Now everyone's gonna like what's gonna happen? Is the uh, Are they gonna disperse? Um, いらん。引き続き町の隅に巨人を引きつけよう。Oh 
三度半俺の半で前の二体をやるなんだって指揮権を託されたのは俺だ黙って命令に従え家が無防備な状態のまま置いてはいけないナイスナイスイエガを回収するまで彼を巨人から守るあーすんばい人類にとって貴重な可能性だあいつを回収してまた似たようなことを繰り返すってのメイブからキープゴンソーダウンペインベンシノト何度だって挑戦すべきだ Well, he chose the right man for the job. I like that guy. I didn't get his name though. Fuck. I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of money. 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 なっとくできないブリーゴ作戦にはしたがうよあなたの言っていることは正しいと思う必死にあがいて人間様の恐ろしさを思い知らせてやる一応前方の二体だチーフベースクリスエーシュドゥズンエグレイブダンブダンエミ
Oh fuck, Connie. What? How did that not work? What? Oh my god. Nice work, Gene. Jesus. Oh my is he out is he out of gas? No, it's just a malfunction. What the f Oh shit. Or is he out? Is it completely malfunction? He can't use gas or anything. Oh no. <laughs> Grab that one. This anime makes me feel short of breath. That whole episode was just like so much tension and pressure. Like, it just like this. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe. Like this, this anime kind of like leaves me sort of like, um, I, I don't even know how you explain this, like the sensation that I'm that I'm getting. It's sort of like, um, uh, like I feel like. My heart, like, is like, a, like, half a step behind kind of thing, um, and like, it feels like all like the blood's like rushed away from my body kind of thing, and just like left me like kind of cold. It's so weird. Like that is that's mental. Like I've never had it. Like I've never, I've never had like a. I do, like, I can't remember ever having like a sensation like that watching a show. This is great. This is really fucking great. Um, yeah. Alright, so, I like how Pixis is taking responsibility, um, for everything that's happening, you know what I mean? So, he's basically saying, like, yeah, might as well call me a, a murderer. Like, I'm willing to go by that title, you know what I mean? Um, because he understands, you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's sending people to their deaths, you know what I mean? For the, for the, for, like, on, on the hope that Eren actually is able to control this Titan, and you know, and seal that hole, you know, because um, if it doesn't work out, then they'll all die for nothing. And in that regard, he picked the best person for the job out of that elite squad, uh, Captain Ian, who's who's taken that he's taken that job seriously. He's taken it right as well. He's, he understands that it's not it's not about. It's 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 for something bigger than him. You know what I mean? It's the Walking Dead does this as well. Um, like, well, they've they've, more, they've recently done it with their season eight. Even though it's it's kind of dropped off in the last couple of seasons, and I hope it picks up again now that we've got a new showrunner. Um, but you know, it's the idea of, of you know, it's not even if like you want to kill the people that you hate, the people who are kind of like bad people it's about bringing everybody together you know what i mean to work together for the greater good of humanity it's not like 
It's not as small as just, you know what I mean, as you and like uh, just whatever's happening in this generation. You've got to, you've got to build for future generations. You've got to, you know, you've got to make uh, the world better for future generations. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Love. And I think a lot of people in the show are just saying two feet in front of their face. They're just saying, you know, oh, I only care about what's happening to me. I don't care about what's happening to anybody else. You know, or what will happen to everyone else. Um, you know, which is why you made a good pick with Captain Ian, because uh, that guy understands, you know. Um, he didn't immediately go back uh, and just, you know, he didn't immediately go screw the mission as soon as Eren um, uh, kind of lost control. Uh, you know what I mean? He's... He's basically, you know what I mean, that they don't think he can control the Titan, but they were like, just draw the, keep the Titans away from Eren, we'll try and get him out, and then, you know what I mean, because cause there's still hope, which is good. Um, you always have to have some kind of hope, because as soon as you lose all hope, then that's it, you're fucked. Um, so I like how they're, I like how they're holding on to that. Um, so yeah, Titans can be any size. Like, I was wondering what the what the whole class thing was about. They said, like, they were saying, like, oh, it's a class... Um, a class uh, f like a, a five to six meter class Titan, and, and then there was one that was like fifteen meter class, and I was like, okay. And so, is that the only size class? Like, you know, there's no like in between. There's no like, so it it can be any class really. You know, it can be any size. I was wondering that because if there was only certain sizes, then that might have been some sort of detail that I could actually use. Um. And actually use to like figure out some stuff maybe um because if they're only certain sizes then it's possible that that the titans aren't a natural thing and they're more artificially made like maybe it was like an experiment gone wrong kind of thing um if they were only like certain sizes i feel like because you know due to like nature there's never like it would never be that um it would never be that consistent you know like, oh, there's only 5 to 6 meter classes, and there's only 15 meter classes. Like, there's no in-between. There's no 10 meter class, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like if the, if it was natural, then that wouldn't happen. But the fact that there are actually all of those meter classes, then, you know, then I guess it could be natural. Um, so the Titans are drawn to Eren, then. Are they drawn to Eren himself, or are they drawn to Eren as a Titan? Because if that's the case, that must mean that they know that he is not a true Titan then. Because I feel like the, the, the everyday Titan, like the just normal Titan, whatever, I feel like they're not humans that are transforming. I feel like they're just Titans as is. They're, they are just Titans. There's nothing special about them. They are just Titans. So do they have something like... Uh, some subconscious feeling or something that that guy or that titan is not a real I think a true titan and thus that that drawn to him to like kill him or something because maybe maybe it works like a hive mind kind of thing so like maybe like every titan is sort of connected in that regard and like they all have the same um like maybe like there's a i don't know maybe like there's like somewhere there's just like a main like a main one or like or, or something that that is giving them order it's kind of like what a uh what a, like an ant colony would be you know or a bee colony or something where it's where it's it's one it's like one entity one figure whatever that's given orders to the rest of the things, right? Um, maybe it's something like that. And maybe that one entity is actually smarter than, obviously, all the other Titans. Like, it's it's incredibly smart. Maybe that is what can tell that Eren, this Eren Titan is obviously not a true Titan, and therefore it's, like, given orders to go kill it. Although, if that was the case, then all of the Titans, I would imagine, would go towards that Titan. And not just like a select few that were close enough. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm getting a bit too far fetched with that one, but you know, it's an interesting theory nonetheless. Um, 
Yeah, I like the dream state thing that Eren was in. Like, I like the idea of Eren kind of knocking on the window. <laughs> like, like it's act like that's what's like Eren thinks that that's what's actually happening for a while. You know, what I mean, he thinks he's just in his house, and Eren's just knocking on the window. Um, but in reality, er like Eren's in a Titan, and he's like kind of dazed, and he's kind of half awake, half not, kind of thing. Um, yeah, and Jean become like Jean's becoming like a leader now. Like they've just automatically, you know, given him the role of being like a leader in this group, because they called him called it the, like the Kirch the Kirchstein group, right? Or the Kirchstein like, yeah, the Kirchstein crew. <laughs> so, so they've already just given him that um, that title, or just given him that role. Which is which is good. I'm I'm really starting to like Gene now. Um, he's in quite a fucking predicament right now, though. Uh, he needs he needs that other maneuver uh, maneuver gear so he can um, so he can get the fuck out of there because right now he is fucked. He's in a bad spot. Um, yeah, and that's all I've got. Fucking hell. Um, I feel like. It's turning a bit. Hopefully, um, Eren comes around back in Titan form and starts carrying that fucking boulder towards the fucking towards the entrance to seal the hole. Because uh, that would be sick. I want to say it. <laughs> uh, all right, one more thing actually, because I said I was going to do this. I need to find. Yeah, here we go. I said I would do this, so. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, in that. Three D maneuver gear, weight shifting device. Users must shift their entire weight to one side of their hips, or the other. This permits acrobatic movement, but hev heavily taxes the muscles. Yeah. So it's all about balance, really. The maneuver gear. Yeah. This is kind of stuff I have I have learned before. So let's see what the other one says. Alright. For this reason, instructors will deliberately deliberately cut student lifelines to gauge reactions. While unsafe, anyone who dies during training would be unable to fight the Titans anyway. Wow. Really? That's what they do? So they don't just... Is that just a metaphor? Like, cut lifelines? It's not actually them killing them, right? Because I'm... I, why wouldn't they just let them go? Because I'm sure in an earlier episode, you just saw, like, a bunch of students, like, leaving via, like, a... Um... Like a, um... Like a carriage, right? So, they would, would, they really, like, would they really kill him off like that? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. All right, interesting. I'm just gonna start doing this just so you know what I mean. I actually pick up on it and stuff, and not just an edit. And I'll just put it in the discussion thing, discussion part. Yeah, but anyway, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.